over the past two weeks or so, I've been like pretty focused on C Sharp, to be honest. Um, I code a little bit in JavaScript. I code a ton of Python, a ton in PowerShell. But really, I feel like what I was missing was like the pure .NET language that we all know. Uh, because like I'm so heavy in Azure, so it was really something that like I just wanted to jump into naturally. So in this video, what I wanted to do was kind of show everybody a little bit of C Sharp and what I've been working on. And what we're going to be doing is a uh, shared access signature, which is essentially, you know, you're taking, say, a new policy and you're letting that policy only do read and list, for example, which is exactly what we're going to do or write or full service like anything. You can really do anything with the policy. Uh, kind of think about it like a service account almost. Uh, and then in C Sharp, that's exactly what we're going to be doing with a storage account. Before we can do it, we need to set up a storage account. So I'm in my Azure portal here. I'm going to go to storage accounts. I'm going to add a new storage account. I'll just put it in my AZ204 resource group. And then maybe I'll call it, um, let's see, uh, YouTube demo 1992. All right, we're good. Uh, US East is fine. This stuff is all fine. I'm not really too worried about that, to be honest with you. Uh, in terms of like the settings and stuff for the sword account, this is really going to be more of like a throwaway sword account. So I don't really care if it's like G1, G2, uh, hot, cold, you know, for like the blob swords and stuff that really doesn't matter to me too, too much. Uh, what we're more focused on is getting the connection string for the storage account and then also creating a container because the SAS permissions, they're going to be specific to a container, uh, not to the actual storage account itself. So let's go to go to resource. Uh, go to resources. Account. That's peculiar. Is it still creating? Maybe. Uh, let me go home really quick. Storage account. Uh, weird. It definitely said it was created. Let's try it again. Uh, YouTube demo test, review and create, uh, create, and let's see if it actually gets created this time. All right, let's go to resource. And okay, here it is. That was weird. I don't know why that happened before, uh, but okay, cool. So we'll just go to containers and then we'll create a new container. We'll name it YouTube. Um, so for the access policy, I don't want it to be private. I don't want it to be anonymous where like anybody could do it. So I'll just go in the middle and uh, just click blob here. Okay, so this is created. I'm gonna go to access keys. And now here's my connection string that I'm gonna need. So I have Visual Studio open here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my connection string and all my storage account information on the other screen. Okay, so this is the code here, and let's just kind of go over it line by line. Um, if you've never seen C Sharp before, I might mention like some terms that you're not aware of, uh, which is fine. You could just Google them, uh, but I'll go into a little bit of detail. So on lines one through three here, we're going to see the namespaces that we're using, which is Microsoft Azure Storage and Microsoft Azure Storage Blob and then System. Now, namespaces, just think about that as like, that's what contains the classes and the methods and all of the other functionality that we need for the code to work to list storage counts or create SAS or anything really, virtual machines, anything like that. The second part we're gonna see here is fields, which is essentially instead of initiating variables locally in a method where they can only be used in just that method, fields allow you to initiate variables and use them anywhere in the code. And then we have our uh, input, or not our input, our entry point method for the main, and then that's just going to be calling the SAS method here. And then we have another static method. Uh, it's void because it's not returning anything. It's just creating for us. So it's not returning any strings or anything. And then there's no parameters, uh, but I am prompting users for some information. So the first thing that they're going to be prompted for is a policy name. This policy name is like really just it's metadata. It's like anything that you want to call is perfectly fine. Uh, the storage count connection string, that's going to be the connection string from the storage count that we just created. And then the container name, which is going to be the name of the container that we just created. Well, let's see here. Moving on, we have line 30. And what line 30 is going to do is it's going to use the uh, cloud storage account type 
And what this is going to do is this is going to parse some data, which is going to be the connection string. This is going to be like the initializer into the uh, storage account, essentially, for the authentication. And then we're going to see two new types here, the cloud blob client and the cloud blob container. What this is doing is it's, stake, it's taking the storage connect variable, and then it's creating the cloud blob client. The cloud blob client is what we're going to use to authenticate for the container. So we have the account, the storage account authentication, and then we have the authentication or the lookup per se of the container itself. Uh, because remember, this SAS that we're creating, it's going to be creating the permissions on the container, not on the storage account. But to get to the container, we need to <laughs> connect to the storage account. So that's what this is going to be. And then the name here, this is going to be referencing the container name. So it's going to get the data back about the container. And then what we're going to have is this is going to be initiating a new object. Uh, and that object is going to be for the shared access blob policy. And then what that's going to do here is we're going to be setting some permissions. The permissions are going to be read and list. That's it. So no write, no full access, nothing. And then we're going to see that we're going to get the current permissions of the container. We're going to get in, uh, and then we're going to add the shared access policies, which is going to be using the add method. We're going to be then putting in the policy name and the shared policy. And then finally, we're going to be setting those permissions, the new permissions on the container that we just created. So with that, let's go ahead and build. So first we're gonna enter our policy name. It's gonna be YouTube SAS, the storage connection string. Let me get that. Enter this in. And then finally the container name, YouTube. Okay, so we got an exit code of zero. The build was successful, no errors. You click enter here, close screen. Okay, so let me move back over to the Azure portal. We're gonna to go to our resource again, and except now what we're gonna do is we're actually not gonna to go to the shared access signature, which is what you may assume, because remember the shared access uh, signature permissions, they were created under the container. So if we go to the container, we go to YouTube, we go to access policy, we can now see that new uh, YouTube SaaS policy with the read and list permissions. And that's pretty much it. So this is just, you know, uh, a little demo of like the different things that I've been doing in C Sharp uh, pertaining to Azure. If you like this content, definitely let me know. I can do some more C Sharp stuff. Uh, to be honest, I was even thinking about maybe doing like a, hey, I'm learning C Sharp. Are you learning C Sharp? Let's do it together type of series. Uh, let me know if you think something like that would be cool. So thank you for watching.